hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i am doing this cute polar bear nail art so on this nail tip i'm just going to do one coat of this silver so you probably won't even see any of this you might see odd little bit popping through but just so that it's got a base that's why i am applying that so i'll bob that into the lab for a minute okay so once that is come out of the lamp i'm just going to wipe that layer of stickiness off just so that that is ready to paint onto or do the design onto so on my palette i have got these gel colors so we've got black white red and blue so i'm just going to do the outline of the polar bear first which is pretty simple so get going with drawing this so i'm going to start with his head so i'm just going to do the middle between his ears first go on to his ears so just two little circles so these ones i'm going to color in while i am doing it and then I'm going to come down on his face. And then above where his face is going to end. And then I'm just going to do his body. So once I have got the outline in, I don't have to colour it all in, I'm not going to waste time just with that little brush, so I'm just going to take the brush from the bottle and I'm just going to go in and just do the rest of him. So you can see the outline of him. So I'm going to put that under the light for a minute and cure that. Once that's come out, I think that needs definitely it needs another coat. So I'm just gonna go in and do a second coat of that. Just want that to be fully covered. Make sure you get that all the way down. And then cure that again for a minute. comes out I'm just going to wipe the sticky layer off there so that when I do detail of the rest of the bear it's not going to smudge anywhere right so I'm going to start with his scarf so what I need to do I'm just picking this red off and I'm just going to do little lines so I'm do them rough to start with just across so that's for the stripes of his scarf. So I've done the ones across to try and get them all roughly the same size. So if you, if you want them a bit longer, you could do. So I'm just going to go in and just make them slightly longer. It's a tiny little bit longer. as long as they're all the same sort of length that's fine and then I'm just going to go in and I am going to do some more going down on an angle for the tail parts of this scarf so that's one side and then again Maybe one more on there. So 
that is his scarf so i will just claim my brush off so i'm just going to pick that up i'm just going to do his tassels coming down off that scarf okay so before i do anything else i am gonna flash cure that so that i don't knock it so flash cure that so what i'm just gonna do is facial features so obviously he want his eyes so i'm just gonna put in I'm just using a detailing brush to do all these, so I'm just going to do his eyes. And then his nose and mouth are not uh, together. So I'm going to do a, a, it's not a circle, it's just longer, a bit longer, with a little line coming off of it. And then another little line under okay so i'm just gonna put that back under for a second well for about 10 seconds just to flash cure that bit okay so i flash cure that for about 20 seconds so i'm just gonna go back in and just go over his scarf just so that it's a bit stands out a little bit more and I can just make these lines slightly thicker where they're needed but I do think these ones coming down need to be a bit thicker so I can do that well I'm doing this part okay let's get this side done No, I'm going to leave him at that. I was going to think about doing him a that. So I'm going to full cure that for a minute now. So once he's come out, I am going to top coat this. Just so that it brings it all together. And then I will put this back under that light for a further minute. Just make sure you run that brush along the wedges and on the free edge, cap it all. So once I have done that, I will put that back under the lamp for the final So when that has cured, you are left with a super cute little polar bear with his scarf on. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you aren't already, maybe subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.